What's up you guys, Brandon here, and I am a full-time reseller. I buy things from thrift stores and garage sales. Today we're gonna hit three thrift stores and we're gonna try to go in there, buy stuff cheap, and resell it for profit online. Hopefully along the way, I could show you some good bolos, which means be on the lookout, and show you some things that could sell for you if you wanted to do this for yourself. First, we're gonna start with a couple sales that I made. We sold these Ninja Turtle action figures for $60 plus shipping, picked these up recently. Got a bunch of bags for $9.99 each. So just this sale probably already put me in the profit. Then we sold these Maui Gyms for $30 plus shipping. We sold this polo shirt for $20 plus shipping. The brand is Duvin Design. We sold these um, Breast Cancer Awareness New Balance sneakers for $27 plus shipping. And finally, we sold this old Reebok LeBron James jersey. And this jersey sold for $80 plus shipping. Definitely keep an eye out for jerseys. Make sure they're authentic and you will get some money for them. Now that those are packed up, let's head to the first thrift store. So we're at the first store. We're looking at the bags and I actually see already what I ended up buying. It's this yoga bag that I've never heard of before the brand it's america and beyond no sold comps on ebay but they retail on their website for 70 to 80 dollars then we found this awesome duluth trading company duffel bag um, and it was 9.99 and it looks like i could get 100 for that and this awesome newfound glory vinyl it's a special tour cover. That was a good find. It already sold. And this Disney Animators doll. These Animators dolls are from the It's a Small World ride. They're actually a really good bolo. Some of them are retired and are worth a lot of money. Um, so keep an eye out for those. This one is one of those rare ones. We also found this bird Bible that's worth about 50 if it works. All right, first door, not too bad. We found a couple things that duffel bag should be worth maybe about 100 um, that Disney doll is actually one of the more rare ones, so that was a really good find. And we'll see if it works, because it wasn't working. There's a little button that you can press, so I'll have to see if I just need to change the batteries. Same with that book. Not working, but change the batteries. Hopefully it works. Put some fresh batteries in this book, and it looks like that it does work. Not sure how it works, but it works. Also went to go look at the batteries on this doll and they are a little corroded, but I noticed that there's just a switch I didn't know that they had on the side. And so I turned it on and it does work. Oh, you can tell the batteries are dying. So definitely needs fresh batteries. I don't have these batteries, so I will sell it as is, but not bad. So in front of store number two, and let's keep the luck going. So we are at the second store. We're looking at the shoes first. Not sure why I don't usually find shoes here. There was a pair of OnClouds there on the left of that frame. Um, they were just too much money. I think they wanted $40 for them. So just a little too much for me for reselling, um, but maybe good for somebody else if they're looking for a good pair of running shoes. I don't think I find any resellable shoes here. Um, I did look at a couple, these are New Balances. They're actually not bad. I just don't think the price was right. Um, if they're cheap enough, I would buy them, but they're just not good for me. Um, I don't think we buy any shoes here, but they usually do have a pretty good selection in this store of shoes. They just, either they look them up or they just price them up, I'm not too sure. But we did find these Chewbacca slippers. I looked these up, they're just not worth too much. A really good find here, as you can see, this car radio. It was $9.99, which is a steal. Um, looks like it should sell for about 100. And then here we have this wall uh, like hair clipper, which is probably not something I would normally buy, but it was worth a lot of money. We also ended up picking up these Carhartt flame resistant overalls for $10 and they should be worth about 50. We're at the checkout counter here. I just wanted to show the rest of the stuff I got. This Nerf Frisbee for $5 and this awesome Jurassic Park Universal mug. That was just too cool to leave. All right, so done with store number two. Pretty good day. Um, found only a couple things, but a couple high dollar things. That radio should sell for over 100, hopefully. The um, hair clippers, probably around 100. And then there are no sold comps on those Carhartt overalls, but there's one listed for 85. 
So those are three pretty high ticket items. So not bad. All right, we are home. And like always, this final store, not a lot of recording in there. Um, just a tight space too, so I don't really like recording in there. So bring it home, show us what we got. We got like 10 items there. We spent like 60 bucks and some of it was pretty good stuff. No home runs, but definitely some stuff to fill the store, starting with this Disney World hoodie, it's like a pullover hoodie. And it was only $3, shockingly. Um, and this should sell, these things sell in the parks for like 50 bucks. So I'm hoping to get 20 to 30 out of it. Next, I think I got a little glimpse of this in the store, but these are Lululemon leggings. They are size zero, they're so tiny. They're like, they look like they're made for kids. <laughs> they're not, but, um, and they were half off of 1818. And on these probably 30 to 40. Last bit of clothing, this Nike t-shirt, it is USA Baseball, which always sells pretty good, especially we are in the midst of baseball season. So this should sell pretty quick for maybe 20. And sticking with the sports, this Jacksonville Jaguars salute to service hat. Um, this was $4 and football season is right around the corner and I've sold so much of the salute to service stuff. Um, this is like the, usually has like the camo somewhere on it. It's a different collection every year. Um, they're different designs every year, but I'm thinking once football season starts, this should sell for around 30. Then we got a couple pairs of shoes. First, these on clouds that aren't in the best shape, but they were only $7. And the tread on the bottom, which to me is the most important, is still good. So I went ahead and grabbed these. These are definitely an older model, um, but at least 30 on these. And then these are Hey Dudes. If Hey Dudes are under $10, normally I'll just pick them up. It's a really hot brand right now. And these are the Katrina Joys. Um, these were $7 and it looks like these should sell for about 30 to 40 as well. Another Disney item here. We got a Bambi mug, pretty simple, hoping 20. And then we got this plush hat. It was only $3. I'm not really sure what the game is from. I did a Google image search in the store, but I'll pop up the comp right here. But when I looked it up in the store, I know I remember one being listed for $50. So for four bucks, this was an automatic buy. And finally, we got a bunch of Mary Kay stuff, just all in a bag for $11.11. Let's see what's inside. This is everything that was in that bag. We got a comb. Uh, we got a bunch of this CC cream. Um, looks like it's sunscreen, oil mattifier, some powder foundation, bath bomb. This doesn't look new, so I'll have to toss that. Cover girl. I don't know how much value is here. It looks like these sell for five to $10 each. Might just lot them up and try and get 30 bucks, but not bad. And we got one more thing in here. Also not new, so can't sell that. All in all, not a bad day. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead, like and subscribe down below. I appreciate it. Um, I will see you guys on the next one where we go thrifting again. Thanks for watching. Peace.